let's start with the social studies section for your ntsc examination now history has around 11 questions in the social studies you would see questions related to your state for your stage 1 examination no negative marking but questions related to your state so even in history you would have questions related to your state even in political science and so on now here let's see who was the writer of mudra rakshas so vishaka dat it was a play written by vishaka dat so vishaka dat is the right option jantar mantar is situated in jaipur now as you can see it's also in new delhi but all the choices here are from rajasthan so this question pertains specifically to state and therefore has been taken as one of the questions where we were discussing now again a simple question who discovered what so this is something that you would have to remember K matching the indus valley civilization and the locations now lothal is located in gujarat not not haryana so this is the incorrect match the rest of those are the correct matches for the question Similarly, you have another question on Bharatpur, which is based on uh, the study of your uh, state. So, state geography becomes state history. State geography becomes important. At least of the eleven questions, you would have three questions, two to three questions that would be pertaining to your state. Coming on to geography, who called the temples of modern India the multi-purpose projects as the temples of modern India? So, Pandit Nehru believed that. the hydroelectric power projects are the temples of modern india a very very basic statement given in your ncert geography textbook so if you are doing your ncert 6 to 10th carefully there is no point you won't be able to solve questions like this all of the questions would be covered there again you have questions like which of the following districts of rajasthan would have the highest density now this question would vary based on your state you would have the census details that could be asked for each of the states so just have a fundamental idea about those kind of questions which of the rivers fall in arabian sea so tapti and narmada fall in arabian sea the remaining rivers fall in the bay of bengal region so west flowing and east flowing rivers you must know again a very very direct question from geography of india from your ncerts kalpavraksh in rajasthan so khejri is known as the kalpavraksh of rajasthan mainly no, grown in the desert area and therefore is important precipice is its scientific name so again a question based on your state syllabus so based on which is state you are appearing for you must have an idea about the basic questions coming on to political science who decides the bill is a money bill or not so speaker of lok sabha intends to decide whether a bill is a money bill or not now number of high courts they have been changing new editions any of the phenomena that have registered a new edition a state being separated out new states being formed merger of certain high court so therefore this question again another question high court as a code of record so article 215 says high court is a code of uh, is a court of record and therefore is an important question highest unit in the gram panchayati raj system so you have the village level block level and the zilla level and that's what has been asked so zilla parishad or the district level becomes the highest unit among these now these kind of questions are who was the leading member of each of the committees so constitution forming of the constitution becomes important in economics you had around seven questions now which is associated with white revolution so production of milk is associated with white revolution uh, vargis kurian was the one who led it and amul dairy was one of, is one of the major cooperatives that you must be familiar with similarly you have green revolution for uh, agriculture culture yellow revolution for mustard and so on and so forth the next question is uh where you find institutional source of credit so institutional source of credit that means if i want to get some money for let's say my agricultural crop i need to borrow the money so these sources be it money lenders self help groups or traders are non institutionalized however commercial banks are institutionalized centers and this is the very very fundamentals of economics that we have understood in our 9th and 10th so very very direct questions inflation uh, questions related to sources of credit we have covered in detail uh, just go through those these are most of the probable and expected kind of questions that are asked off and on if you cover these questions carefully you are you are all set with the kind of questions that come up with your ntsc examination i repeat again ncert is 6 to 10th along with exemplar uh, problems exclusively 
for your 9th and 10th if not all is merged for science and maths and then social studies uh, questions based on the authors uh, the people who gave certain slogans or certain quotes that have been mentioned in your NCRTs become important however with the recent patterns of your changing syllabus you also have picture based questions for your board examination these kind of questions are not asked in your NTSC SAT and uh, SAT section so SAT section prepare it very very carefully practice questions and as you cover your NCRTs I believe you are all set also you should have good command not only on one subject but all the subjects in science math social studies and mental ability all of them are asked in your uh, examination so focus and cover those questions very very carefully we would be bringing many more interesting questions and topics for you have a wonderful day ahead